Hey, Lori, nice to see you here. Happy Saturday. Hey, Nick. What's going on, man? Okay. I just thought that was so cool. I'm gonna just cover this whole thing. I'm gonna just cover this whole thing, or a lot of it. No, Ethel, this is about the same size that I normally use. It's not a spark book, but it's, um, so it is smaller, I guess, than that. Oh, that's so funny. Hostess cupcake. Yeah. Those colors. Definitely the Hostess cupcake color there.
God, it's so warm here that the paint is drying so fast. Is it warm where you guys are or is it just me in Bay Area? Oh wow, that's pretty warm for Chicago, but I guess summer it's warm there. It, I have never been to Chicago, it's so embarrassing. And I know it's such a great city and all the art and architecture and I really wanna go. George O'Keefe Museum. Rose from Alberta, Canada, nice to see you. Morgan. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I know it's funny. It's like, it's like, oh, this is just a dumb sketchbook. Who's gonna be interested? But I love watching these because they're just, you know, it's just experimental, but it's kind of fun to see how people experiment. There's always something to learn, you know? And I like it because I don't have to plan anything. It's just what I'm doing anyway. Well, I'll look you up when I come to Chicago. Absolutely.
Um, the reason I did that, um, Sherry, uh, is because it was, it was just getting very symmetrical. So I just went, I just gave it over, you know? I didn't like the feeling that before it was just these little white shapes and all these D shapes, but going, like this is different. That's like a whole dip of this white. So it's like one third, two thirds feeling now instead of just these little things on white. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just proportionally. So I'm asking, what can I add to this now that's, that, that's different, right? Like, what do I have? Everything's pretty sweet. You know, I got this pink colors. I got this, I got this yellow sweet color. And, you know, the brown's kind of nice, but maybe if I had a light color that's not very colorful. So I'm thinking of like a gray bringing in some gray here to make the rest of the color look better. You know, playing those uh, contrasts up. For those of you guys who have done workshops with me or done the Creative Visionary Program, this is a huge thing of how you problem solve your work is to, to be able to look at it and say, oh my God, you know, this is sweet, this is sweet, this is sweet, 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 sweet. It's all, it's all so pretty. So now if I bring in something that's more um, not like that, it will make, it'll enhance it. It just works every time, you know? So that's what I'm looking for now. I'm asking myself those questions and I'm gonna add some gray. Oh yeah, Petra, I am sure it is so hot in Spain. Oh my God. It is, oh my goodness. I hope you're in the shade, in the cellar. <laughs> and they don't, they're not like all those houses, a lot of them don't have air conditioning, you know? See how that just like helps? It just kind of kills. So now the big redundant thing we have is everything's really light and kind of washed out. So now I'm gonna come in with something really bold. Pam, is it out of focus? Is that what's going on? Let me know in the chat if something, if it's out of focus.
So what would look good on this page next to this you know, if we have these neutrals and this strong thing, so probably something really saturated and flat. So I'm gonna mix up a really nice saturated color that relates to these colors. This is Saturday. And I wanna leave room for writing, but I'm gonna design this white space. Pam, I'm not sure how, what I, I wasn't doing anything differently before. Um, so maybe it's in the camera, I'm not sure. Oh, isn't this dry or cool? Um, Nick, this is, uh, you know, it's crazy. They don't put the logo on this. It's so ridiculous. Um, and I keep, people keep asking me. It is uh, Lilux is the brand. Here, I'll write it here. Lilux. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me. And it's, it's battery operated. So it's great for doing this because it's not super loud. And there's no cord. Let me see if you guys can see that. No, you probably can't. Let me write it something a little darker. This is the brand. Just Google that. They're kind of expensive, but it's great for this. Sure, Morgan. That's... Fantastic, you're here. Um, we also have, um, coming up July 27th, which is coming up, is the last day to enter the International Arts Life Art Exhibition. Um, and uh, that's, um, it's so cool. We got so many entries and it's juried by Anita Rogers in New York City. Um, she's an amazing gallerist. 
And uh, yeah, it's uh, really cool. This has been the best, be biggest year yet. And um, I think it has a lot to do with really this, the quality of the juror, you know, just getting your work in front of her. And the prizes are pretty significant. Um, I am, uh, I will look up the, the website. Oh, shoot, hang on a second. Okay. Oh, thanks, Morgan. I so appreciate that about the podcast. Yeah, if anyone's interested uh, in our podcast, you can just uh, look up Art to Life podcasts, um, subscribe on Apple or anywhere. We've got some really cool guests and things coming up. I'm really excited about yesterday. Um, yeah, well, um, I'll leave it, I'll, you know, it's a surprise. So let me just say, it's pretty great what, what we got coming.
Oh, that helped, didn't it? God. Okay, that's a... Uh... I think that's what we gotta get in there. Last thing is get this. I gotta make sure the pages don't stick together. That's the only thing. You know, Sherry, I work in, yeah, I mean, there's definitely things I learn in here and I, sometimes I'll, I'll definitely look at what I'm doing. Um, I've been doing this brown pink thing a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, it totally informs the work. I don't copy this on a large painting, um, but I, it is, you know, I mean, I only have, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. And, but this is a way that I just kind of keep my head in it, you know, keep the flow going. So when I do go to the studio, I've, you know, I did something today, you know, even though I don't have time to go to the studio today, I, I worked, I did a thing. I'm thinking about it, adjusting things, you know? And so I definitely look at it, you know? I just don't copy it. Okay, well, listen, you guys, um, if any of you want to get tips and all this kind of stuff on a regular basis on Sunday, you know, we have this Sunday vlog that I send out and, um, you know, it's stuff like this, but I'm going into more teaching stuff and that you just go to arttolife.com and you can, um, you can just subscribe. It just comes out on Sunday. It's totally free and it kind of just puts you in, uh, you know, drops you into the community. There's some amazing artists and everyone's helping each other. It's pretty fun. So check that out. You know, Sarah, I do, I end up, I mean, I painted, you know, I need a place to write notes and I, that's about how much I need. So sometimes I don't just cover this whole thing, but I always, it always comes in, you know, like here, I ended up painting. So it just, it just looks better. I don't know. I can't help it. Um, but a lot of times it's, it's more empty. Yeah, it's kind of, it's cool though, right? You know, just, it becomes like, you know, it, this is the painting now, you know, it's this with this. And a lot of times, you know, I'll take the page and I'll rub it while it's still wet. And then I'll get some of the paint on this side and there's this cool transfer thing that happens, which is kind of great, you know. All right, you guys, well, listen, thanks so much for being here. And I hope you have a great Saturday and you get into the studio uh, and make some art. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.